Okay, so this week I chose to make baked spaghetti. This one just sounded amazing. Okay, I've been making this for years. I have no idea where the recipe came from, um, but it's really easy. It's one of those ones you just kind of throw it all together in the pan and then bake it. Really simple. So all you need, ground beef, we've got sour cream, cottage cheese, you're gonna need some tomato sauce. I have to go grab that. And then some shredded cheese and salt and pepper. I think that's it. Oh, egg noodles. Yes, you want egg noodles. You can use any kind of noodles, really. Uh, I just love the egg noodles. They cook fast and it kind of works well with all the sauce and everything. So let's go brown some hamburger. Right before you start your meat uh, to brown your hamburger, start the water to boil for your egg noodles because then you can do it at the same time. They cook pretty fast, but just in a series of things. I would do that at the same time as your meat. So our hamburger is pretty much browned. Um, I figured you just didn't wanna sit there and watch hamburger brown. Now, this is a pretty lean ground beef. It's 93 and seven, but if you have one that's a little bit um, fattier, you could do it differently. But for this, since there's not that much grease, here is my little trick. Do this and then take a paper towel and just soak that on up. Don't burn yourself. I'm good with that. I'm gonna turn this kind of to low now, and we will add our tomato sauce, one can of tomato sauce. If you are in the market for a new can opener, I love this one. It's like the automatic, it runs by batteries. We've had this one for years and we still haven't run out of batteries. Uh, Kitchen Mama. We'll add the tomato sauce. Decent pinch of salt and some pepper. Okay. And we're gonna set that lowish and then mix that all together. So once this is all mixed, we're gonna leave this kind of on low to simmer and just hang out. And then we will go mix together our other ingredients and get those ready. All right, so while the uh, tomato sauce and the hamburger is kind of simmering, and then the egg noodles are cooking, we're gonna mix the other stuff. That's all that is, is some sour cream, cottage cheese, and salt and pepper. Half a cup of sour cream. And also, if you have, you know other gets that like watery stuff on the top of sour cream, uh, if you already open it and then stick it back in the fridge, don't pour that out, just stir it together with the other stuff because that's it's good stuff in there. So we'll mix this together. And I'm using full fat. You can definitely use like a light sour cream as well. Um, I haven't seen too much of a difference. Okay. So we've got a half a cup of sour cream. One and one fourth of a cup of cottage cheese. So we'll do this. I buy the large curd. It doesn't matter really, but I like the large one. I think the texture, I just like the texture better. All right, and Leah likes the texture better for some reason too. I've never, I go on and off with liking cottage cheese. Um, I've never been a huge fan, but then sometimes I'll eat it and be like, oh yeah, I do like this. All right, so cottage cheese. And then a fourth of a cup. You can use a fourth of a cup. I don't want to dirty another thing, so I'm just going to do a big scup, cup or a big scoop, sorry. And that's about fourth of a cup. Okay. We're going to mix that together. Then we'll grab the pepper and we'll do a pretty healthy dose of pepper. All right, I'm going to mix that together again. And then once our noodles are done, we'll add the noodles to this mixture. And then we'll start layering. Noodles are cooked and I strained them. So now we'll just pour them into the cottage cheese sour cream mixture. You don't have to like rinse these or anything. And they're still hot, it's fine. We're gonna put those in there, mix all that together. And then we will just layer the noodle and cottage cheese sour cream mixture with the meat mixture and cheese. It's really, really easy. And this goes an eight by eight pan. I grabbed, first grabbed this one. I just got this from Target. It's the Magnolia stuff and it's really cute, but I think it's a little too big. I think this one's like 12 by 12. So I grabbed this one instead. 
a little bit smaller. It just makes the layers a little thicker. All right, so then we just layer. So you're gonna do, you don't need to spray this or anything, it's fine. There's, okay, so you're gonna do a bottom layer of the noodles and do like half of the noodle mixture because we're gonna layer. So we've got a little noodle mixture and then I'm gonna bring over the meat mixture. the meat mixture on top of the noodles. I'm just gonna use the same spatula because I am fine with it. Okay. Then we add a layer of meat mixture. Use about half of this. You'll basically do two layers of each. Spatula is not working, but I'm gonna make it work because I don't want to dirty another spoon. Just what we're gonna do. All right, let's spread that out. And after this layer, just a little bit more. Okay, got that layer. And then after this layer, we're gonna do our shredded cheese. Um, usually I use a sharp cheddar. I just have mild, so it's fine. You can do like some mozzarella if you wanted to, but I like the cheddar on this. So we're gonna do a layer of cheese on top of the meat. And then we will just repeat with the Noodle mixture, meat mixture, cheese. Okay. So the rest of the noodle mixture. Okay, put that on there. And then the rest of the meat mixture. And then we will top all of this. And then we'll top the whole thing with cheese. Layers don't have to be perfect or even. It all kind of goes all melty mix into one. Sounds good. More cheese. Um, we like to have this with like a salad. Um, is always good with like a spaghetti dish. Um, garlic bread, things like that. Um, like a Texas toast is really easy. So if I'm doing more of like a homemade dish, We'll do something simple for a side, like a salad. We put this in the oven, uncovered, 20 minutes at 350. And that is it. Let's go in the oven. All done cooking. I'm gonna go grab it. So good, I'm so excited. All right. Now, you probably wanna let this just chill for like, five minutes so it's not like scalding hot before you serve it but it's ready it's good grab your salad grab your garlic bread it's okay okay every time i make this i'm like i forget how much i love this it's just so good it's like perfect comfort food all right Get some of the noodles, get some of the meat mixture, and the cheese, of course. Oh, I love it. I don't want to scold my mouth. Mmm. It's so good. So good. Easy dinner. Hope you loved this one this week.